Okay, in order to bring a mapped layout back into Blender to wrap it around our object, this is what we do. Um, after creating a masterpiece in Photoshop or whatever you're creating the, the layout in, you need to save it as an image. So we save as an image somewhere where you can go find it. Then when you get to Blender, uh, you've got your layout here. We're going to bring it back in. So of course, make sure you're in Cycles Render. Come over to the Materials tab, this guy right here. Select a new material. If there's already one there and it says Use Nodes, then click that button. Um, now, under the color, instead of a color, we're, we want an image. So we don't want to put a color on our cube. We want an image. So click on this little button next to color. It gives us more options. Go to Image Texture. And then we're going to open up an image that we have saved. So if as long as you've saved it, you navigate to the right folder, UV Layouts. Wherever it is, also you can click this icon right there and it shows images and that makes it a little easier to choose than by just finding the name. So click that. Um, here's mine here and so I'm going to click it and then open image or double click on it. Now it will be mapped on here. If I go here and material, um, it's there. But if I can't see it yet or if I want to see it here and see how it's mapped exactly, I can click right here. Since I've already opened it, I don't need to open it again. I just click here and it should be on the list. There's my life story map. And it should be mapped perfectly on there. And there it is. It's sideways. And so it depends on how you unwrap it. But if I had all Im images on all of them, and this is kind of just a quick thing to show, then it would have images on all sides. So that's how that goes.